Hello, I'm Ghost Kyo9, and um, I kind of just wanted to test out my recorder real quick and smooth as heck. But this is a game I'm making called Villager Village Defense. Um, there's different ones. I'll go over that later. But the big one I made that I was happy about is this. I was happy to make the zombies move. I had trouble with it. Because they were moving, even when during the turns. But I fixed that perfectly. I'm gonna work on the end part, which is gonna blow up a blow up. <laughs> and these are all the levels. I should credit some of them. Let me just uh So, this is the first one, which is on the top, I think. Yep. Made by me. This one, kind of hard to see, but it's also made by me. This one is a bit easier to see. This is uh, almost like a Halloween themed. This one was made by my friend's friend. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna probably say that wrong. Omnicron 48. This one is a. Let me go down here. Is a diamond and redstone checkerboard themed by my friend. Um. Markraft FTW. I'll put his YouTube in the description. Not many followers. I mean. Not many subscribers. Um, so kind of want to put him out there, and I'll put his channel down in the description. And I really just wanted to show, do this for some people who don't. No redstone. So let me just, uh, real quick. Do, do, do zero, that should reset. But did not reset the time. Uh, apparently, I didn't do the reset of the time. And that's like middle of the day. That's one. And, uh... So, this is the super fast clock I had to learn forever. Pretty easy. Here it is. Pause the video and look at it. Here's the bottom one. Pause and look at it. <laughs> and it fills all of this repeatedly over and over again. Here's a test. Let's just make this say hi. And it's really fast. Just spammed high in chat. Um, fill that back in. That's just giving me the command block. If I lose it. Um, that test, if the game started. This is the countdown. I kind of overdid the time. But, that's what I feel like doing. And the big accomplishment that I feel happy about was this baby. So, to start off, this would test if I'm, um, if I had a score of one. If I, if it didn't, it will change this to red zone, and I know what you might think. It's not gonna turn on. Well, that's what this one does. It turns it on to 15, the max. Turns it on for uh, two, uh, a few ticks, change it back, and that turns on the clock. I do that so then it doesn't start immediately. This one just resets it and changes day. So, 
this is what I did with the uh, blocks. You can also check this on Dragnaws. I watch him for some stuff. Execute ID. I make the zombie detect if there's a certain block under it. So for in this case, the stone stair 5, which would be facing. Let me just take an old random. That way. So, meaning this top part is pointing where he, where the zombie should go. The C is youngest. So this will work by whoever is the youngest person nearby, which is working with only one zombie. TPs them, then makes them face a certain direction. So I'll make him face this way if I change the direction. This way, then he'll face that way. I'll show you how. Keep forgetting that doesn't work. I'll show you it in action once I get over here. Do, do, do. So, this is the serpent. This one's pretty easy. Um. I should go down and show you guys. The rabbit clock is testing it, which is right here. Testing if it's 12, which is pushed. Once it does, tells raw um, in the color. I forgot what I was going to do with that. And does that. Oh, wait. I wasn't going to use that. So, let's... Let me show you this in action. I probably did. But let's go over it again. So, this is the little lobby I made. Didn't want to do anything fancy, just roll into your head, zombie head. Um, base it off these heads next to each other. That, to get that, I did the skull. Then, in the data, it's skull owner. In that, mf, mhf underscore real edger. Once you do that, you get it. So let's start the game. Starts, there's a berry thing up there. I'm still working on this. So, and this is randomized. So it's always different each time. I'm still working on some of the levels. And I'll get to that soon. I'm gonna show you this. Changes so they don't die. And I don't know why it. Is that like really quick? Yeah, that's really and that's how they move. It's pretty self explanatory. And, uh, yeah, they just move around this, they would snake, and then they plop down there and explode the village. So, I'll kill. Stop it. And this is the randomizer. So, back at spawn, wherever it is, they'll, pl they'll place a block there and then changes the map. So, let me change again. It has no effect on anything else, it just randomizes the map. And it really likes mine. Ah, there we go. Changes to that. And there's my other one that I was trying to show you. So this is still in development. I just wanted to show you guys some stuff I've been working on. Because I've been making maps. And this is my marks. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. Oh wait. Almost forgot. This clones the block under it right here puts it right there to refill it immediately. The set block, this one, we set that to air to stop it. This one sets that block to air. That one just kills all play all everything that's not player because I had an issue with this. Because once they destroyed they would drop it as the item. So, 
I kind of had trouble with that. So, I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. And I might need some ideas for stuff to um, put down. Like, have thing right there. Almost like a Tesla coil and kill everything that's coming by through here. Something like that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching.